Hello, welcome to our number three session of our water coral class number one. We are going to be using today uh, our normal water color paper, one that is uh, thick enough to absorb some water. We are going to be uh, taking uh, just uh, one, one piece of, of paper and as always we will use it and take out of the out of the block. Uh, what are materials are we going to use? Well, we are going to use our traditional tape that we are using for some weeks. Uh, we are using this blue tape and then uh, we will be uh, using um, uh, three sets of uh, brushes. In this case we have uh, uh, brush number six and eight and uh, uh, ten. Uh, ten is the, the big one. Uh, all the brushes that we are going to be using are um, round. We are also going to be using our uh, watercolor um, pencil, piece of paper, um, eraser, our palette. Uh, uh, with that in mind, I think that we we have we have covered all our necessities. Okay, so our needs. Um, so we are going to start, as always, we are going to start like uh, framing, reframing the, the, the watercolor paper. But before, before I wanted, I wanted to show you, you know, uh, that uh, inspiration for today. Huh? I love birds huh? and I had in my library, I don't know where it came from, but I have these birds around us, which is a very interesting, you know, a very interesting book uh, with flowers, some birds. Uh, and uh, the location where they are coming from, and the habitat, etc., etc., and took my my mind and my attention. One of the birds that I love the most since I am in the United States in the Northeast, which is the, the cardinal, and not only not only because of the colors, etc., just I mean I have some personal stories uh, with uh, um, these birds, and I decided that. That was reason, uh, a good reason and reason enough to have our class today with um, this uh, bird. So I uh, took a picture from the internet and um, I decided that I will send you and there is a picture that I send uh, that uh, to you so you may have in, even in your computer printed or um, you have um, open uh, around uh, so you can you can see the the, the board. Okay, so uh, uh, we are going to frame our 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 um, watercolor paper. You know how is that? So you take some of the uh, blue tape. Also for those that are new to this class, um, uh, you can use the artist tape. Uh, that is the top tape you can buy in the market. It's beautiful and doesn't damage the uh, the paper. But you can use blue tape, uh, yellow tape, or green tape. Also, this those are painters tape. Uh, also, we are going to be using our, you know, yeah, basically two colors in our set of um, watercolor pencils. Basically, the brown and the and the red. Uh, so this is the picture that you have in front of you, and we are going to start by uh, drawing, and uh, by drawing this very very simple. And you more or less center, okay, the bird in the middle of the um, of the piece of paper, and you just have to do two circles, okay. The circle that goes with the head is uh, going to be a little um, smaller than the one that uh, is the body of the bird, okay. Um, see the position of the of the face of the head of the of the bird, okay. So the um, the big um, circle that is the body probably has to be a little to to the uh, to the to the right, huh? so it's not one after the other. Yeah. So, and but it doesn't really matter if if, if you don't uh, do exactly what I am doing. Okay. So the important part is that the bird has two parts, <laughs> and one is the head, and the the other part is that is the body. Right. And also. Um, the use of, of, of colors. So, with our um, watercolor pencil, we are uh, drawing, and we're drawing uh, this very, very, very simple um, bird. Uh, take your time. 
Uh, do these two circles, and from there you have the, uh, in a way, the, the, the structure, the skeleton. Then you can do that tail, okay? So take your time, and you have uh, the last part of the tail. In, in my case, I, I extended that tail a little bit longer than the, uh, the one that I have in the picture. Okay, so what is uh, one of the distinguished uh, part of this bird is, uh, which is something that also takes my attention, is that um, they have this, this um, um, crown, okay, on the, uh, on the head, and, and that is what uh, we are going to be doing right now, okay? Um, uh, the good thing with uh, the um, watercolor papers, and, and you already know that, is that not only that you can erase those lines uh, with your, your, your uh, very easy with your uh, um, erase, but also that you can erase those, you know, once you are painting. Huh? Uh, so the watercolor pencil, and we are going to be using it twice uh, today, the watercolor pencil, uh, as a tool to draw, but also as a tool to emphasize and to uh, probably uh, put some lines also. Uh, uh, after this um, exercise is done, I want you to also to experiment with the watercolor pen uh, pencils, okay? So um, try to, try to uh, work on details. Huh? Um, next week, uh, probably we're going to do some flowers. I, I procrastinated uh, the class of the flower that I was going to do, and I told you probably last week that we were going to do today because I I, I wanted to, to do the, the board first. Huh? Uh, when we do flowers, for example, uh, or what we are doing uh, right now, which is uh, this uh, kind of trunk of a tree, uh, and the watercolor pencil uh, um, can be a very useful tool to paint on a surface that is already painted to create some delicate lines and some texture. Uh, so we finish our our uh, drawing which is as you see pretty simple okay and 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 we are going to start uh, working with the uh, uh, sky uh, so we have more or less we have already our our drawing uh, it's pretty simple pretty elemental and we will do now the sky we'll do the sky and then um, we will wet the paper as we know and um, and then we will work on the branch and finally okay we're going to work on that bird okay so we start by working on the uh, sky the way we know I'm gonna attach this uh, piece uh, there so it doesn't doesn't fly away my bird uh, and we are going to uh, wet the paper, okay, only in the surface that the surface that we have the sky. We wet the paper with, you know, water as 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 as, as you know, without any color first, okay, and then we will go on the top of that with uh, the. Uh, in this case, we are going to use uh, 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 blue. Uh, uh, you can use the ultramarine blue, or you can use the. Um, Cerulean blue. If you have tallow blue, that's also okay. Huh? So you can you can work with either blue you have at home. Uh, the only thing I want you to see is that uh, the, the how lax and how um, uh, relaxed, okay, is uh, uh, the, the sky in this in this case. Huh? Uh, I am a little mimicking, you know, what we have uh, in the photo. Uh, that means that objects that are far away are like blurry, uh, and, and that is a very interesting resource. We don't need to put more attention on what is in the back back. Uh. We really don't know if this is a winter landscape because you have some kind of uh, uh, white there, uh, uh, or if it is a spring landscape. Uh. So that is not the attention here is on the board huh? uh, but the board has to be in this case has to be on something so we have this little branch so if the attention is not on the sky we just like fill the sky uh, this this way hmm? um, we have these blurry shadows that probably are some branches on the back that we are going to insinuate them huh? uh, but 
everything in the background is going to be insinuations and nothing is going to be nothing is going to be really uh, uh, concrete okay so start working on the uh, on the sky wet the paper and work with the uh, blue that you want um, the tallow blue okay is going to be a, 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 a blue that is a little warmer we talked about that last last class i think um, however the ultramarine blue is a little more uh, it's a little it's a blue that is cool there huh? and you choose the one that that uh, you want to use huh? so i have these little like um stains there are stains uh, of uh, made with uh, brown as as you can see brown a mix of brown and and, and green uh, that are not really defined it. okay so there's everything that the background is kind of blurry and I invite you to do exactly the same thing huh? and for doing that you don't need to wait until the sky is dry huh? so uh, because if, if you wait until the, dry, the sky is dry things are going to be a little more concrete more prosaic so you don't need that huh? um, later you can you can do some little lines here and there once the sky is, uh, is uh, dry if you think you want huh? We are going to finish it with the uh, with the sky. Uh, as I said, the sky is very loose. is is uh, also uh, colors are kind of pale, uh, um, even paler than in the in the picture and um, in the photographs. Uh, so we keep doing this, waiting the filter and putting some uh, some blue in it. Mm. I let it dry. Now that the paper is already dry, I wait a little minute and a couple of minutes, and we are going to work on the branch. Yeah? So the, these uh, linear lines are, are there. I'm gonna probably, I was thinking, I'm probably gonna uh, put some some little branches here and there, but we are going to be working on the on the main uh, branch. Uh, and for doing that, I'm gonna use. Uh, um, a mix of um, uh, ochre color and brown and a little of and a little of green too. Huh? Uh, what I'm doing right now is a little of a sky that I forgot to paint, and before I start with the branch, I'm doing this right now. Huh? So it is uh, sometimes we we miss those parts. Huh? But it's not there's no bad. Huh? Okay, so now mix the the mix of brown okay plus a green uh, try to use a, a green that is a viridian green if you are using that that is not bad if you have some other green um, also works the key here is to use the ochre color whatever green you have if you mix with ochre color okay you are going to have this brownie green uh, that is kind of the, the 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 color i like for my my branches uh, always so we see how i'm using the the, the the brush how i'm moving okay my my, my hand huh? and um and also i am with that i am creating i'm creating the some of the of the texture of this of this branch huh? so the the color uh, i'm using not too much water not not the, the color is not as diluted as i was using in the in the on the sky huh? i will go as you can see later i will go many times on this branch huh? and now i am working on a color that is a little darker okay to do the part that is a little darker in the same branch and for doing that i am exactly mixing the same thing uh, kind of a, a, a brown plus uh, ochre color plus some green um, i even put a little of of blue uh, and uh, use a little but very little of of, of black uh, to create uh, the uh, color that color that is dark enough uh, and i started with this kind of line uh, uh, on the on the lower part of this branch, uh, I 
I am not using now just a lot of, of a lot of color. Huh? So I have the color that is more concentrated, okay, on the lower part, the part that doesn't receive the light. Huh? And my the, the movements of my hands are as as you can see are very, very, very loose. Huh? Uh, reinforcing, okay, this uh, this line. Uh, remember that the sky is already is already dry huh? because if the sky wouldn't be dry and I am painting the this branch, uh, the colors will be will melt huh? and I wouldn't be able to do uh, what I am doing. Huh? So I am defining also this this part. If I feel that it's too intense the color in this upper part, I take my piece of paper and absorb, okay, and dry out a little bit, and taking out some of the uh, color that I already put, okay? With the uh, leftovers uh, of this color that I have uh, used, I will, okay, try to mimic this uh, branch that is the one of the few, if not the only one, that is uh, the branch that is a little more, more strong and concrete that is in the back of the tree. Huh? of the, sorry, uh, the back of the, of the board. Huh? And, uh, but, uh, but you will see nothing uh, on the background really is going to catch the, so much attention, okay, uh, because the board and the colors that I am going to use in the board uh, are going to be the center, really the center of our, uh, our piece today. Letting dry, thinking what is going to be next. Next is going to be this little branch, okay, that is coming from the uh, main tree uh, or the main branch, and repeating exactly, recreating the colors that I use in the other one. So it's a mix of uh, green, brown, and um, uh, ochre color, uh, not too intense. And I, I'm going to uh, exactly do this first layer. The first layer is going to be not too intense. Uh, uh, moving the branch and creating this already this texture mm. and again the the sky the blue sky on the back is already dry so I can I can do that uh, I feel like it's a little too much color that I put okay so I and see this with with my at, at the time that I am putting the I'm putting the paper okay to dry out the the, 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 the color that I, I put I also creating some textures that I am leaving and now, repeating exactly the same thing I did before, some of this a little darker color, uh, the color which is basically the same, the same color but a little less diluted and with a little more of brown and a little more of uh, uh, black, I created this dark part, okay? And the illusion of volume. Also, the, the tree now is, or the, 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 the wood is, uh, a little dry, so I am retouching some of the textures that I want to, to um, emphasize uh, to put a little more obvious what uh, surface is, is that. Uh, so we keep uh, painting and working on that. Uh, very, very good, take your time, don't rush, we don't need to rush at all. And uh, removing some details here and there, and you see now this uh, branch, okay, of this piece of tree or whatever, it has already some volume and it has already some texture, and you can recognize that as a representation of um, a, a wood nature. Huh? So keep keep doing this. Take your time. Work and feel pleasure on what we are doing. We let it dry now. Mm -hmm. we, enough of the of the branch, and, and we will probably now concentrate on our part. And we are going to start uh, with the uh, dark part of uh, our our bird huh? and then we will go uh, for the red parts of the bird huh? in layers always in layers so I decided uh, I, I, I could have gone in the inverse way 
doing the red part first and then the, the black. The reason, because I am um, uh, starting with this uh, black, is because I, uh, <laughs> to me, I realized that uh, this gives the bird the character, and I need the bird to look at me, yeah, uh, to feel more uh, motivated, uh, and, and really, technically, it's more or less the same. This black that or this dark color that I am, I am, I am using right now, uh, um, is not going to be too strong. Uh, so I will, once this is dry, I will work on that. I will, I will go back and do some other layers on the top, creating the texture of the feathers. Huh? Okay, so there we are. Yeah? Then now we are going to mix uh, some of uh, some 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 red with the dark color that I already have. And you'll see what happens. So we work on the tail. Okay, what colors are we going to use? We are going to use, as uh, you see for the bird, we are going to use the camion red, and we are going to use the uh, alizarine. Alizarine uh, is, a, is a kind of deep uh, red, uh, and the cadmium red. So we have those two colors. You can use whatever color you have, whatever red you have, okay? so. Uh, don't worry, don't worry about that. It's not about, it's not mostly about the, the kind of red that you do, but the, how you shade and how you uh, mimic, okay, the, the, the body, what is, what is important. I'm mixing this, this uh, two, I'm mixing this, this cadmium with uh, alizarine um, uh, watercolor, uh, and starting with uh, the other part that I admire of these birds, okay, and uh, I think that is the reason because they have the, the name of, of cardinals, uh, because the, the cardinals, the real cardinals, okay, they have this, this um, hat. Uh, to me, this is kind of crown. Um, and, uh, and the color that I am using is basically a color that is, is flat. This is, uh, remember, we work in layers, and this is our first layer. Okay, so we are going to concentrate in this uh, very first part of the word on the upper part of the body. We are going to do exactly, exactly the same thing that we did for the um, branch, okay? So just the way we are uh, moving the branch, the, 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 the brooch, the brooch uh, is uh, giving us some texture already. No? Let it dry, we will work uh, later on the top, we can uh, keep working on these other parts of the bird. At the end, we are going to cover the whole bird, okay, with a kind of red that is uh, uh, not really a flat red, but it's a first layer of uh, of, of red. Uh, for the body, uh, the movement of our our hand is going to be a little more circular. Uh, trying to follow the, the feathers, trying to follow the rhythm of the body of the bird. Uh, we don't need, at this point, we don't need a very intense uh, color. Uh, so you see why, as I repeat, uh, because we are going to be working on layers and we are going to be repainting okay, uh, the, the body of the, of the bird. We mix some more color. We 
keep uh, doing this uh, kind of movement, uh, the the leg, and and the wing is something we have to take care of. Mm. Uh, the the rate of the of the leg of the breath is too intense, so probably I will uh, take my my paper and dry out a little bit that uh, that of the rest that is that is too intense for now. Huh? But before it uh, the before it dry, I am going to keep working uh, on my board, making some more um, adding. Okay, adding uh, to the uh, board. Mm. Adding to the to the uh, beak of the uh, of the bird, uh, the color, um, some red and yellow. Mm. So uh, see that. However, it can be kind of orange. Uh, it's not really an orange. It's, it's an orange that is more like more reddish than than orange. Mm. Okay, so I already dry uh, this this part, and I'm gonna uh, use now some of my watercolor uh, pencils, and I'm gonna use some kind of uh, 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 really red. Mm -hmm. and so I'm gonna use the magenta and some brown. And with those colors, okay, uh, I uh, what I'm doing is I am creating those lines. That's what I wanted you to to see. Huh? So you can you can work even harder than I'm I'm working and what I am using, uh, creating the the texture. Mm -hmm. So go for it and take your time. You can use also uh, even brown uh, in watercolor pencil for this. Yeah? I'm taking the brush that is the, the small one that I have, is for detail, and going on the top of the lines that I have uh, created, I have drawn with my pencils, uh, working on the texture. What I am doing now in this part of the board is something that we are going to repeat in all this 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 board. Uh, so slowly, is this this process is a process that we are going to be uh, repeating. You will see. I let it dry a little bit and I take again, you know, one of my um, dark uh, reds that I have. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of the name really of the uh, of the red. I hear, here I have this uh, dark brown. I'm not even, this, this uh, pencil that I'm using is not even red, it's, it's kind of brown. I can use, for this specific part, I can use even black uh, and it's going to be okay. Uh, because what I'm doing is I'm I'm uh, insinuating the, uh, the 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 feathers, uh, and as I, this is my tiny, uh, very delicate brush. Okay, I I can go with this uh, very um, um, delicate way of, of of creating the the the, the feather, uh, and. I'm not doing feather by feather. I'm just doing some, some really some some lines. Uh, I it, it looks kind of weird right now, but once the whole board is complete and this is just going to be a part of the board, um, everything is going to is everything is going to make sense uh, to your eyes later.
It keeps working. And we have already I have uh, put some color inside the eye of the bird, uh, uh, letting a little a little part okay white, which is a reflection of uh, the, the 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 sky on the eye of the of the bird. Uh, making again some dark and. Um, more intense uh, red uh, and working on the tail that is already is already dry uh, creating these lines mm, that uh, has two these lines have two two uh, reasons first reason is for sure the representation of the feathers of the, of the tail the other reason is a more like like a compositional is more about design eh? uh, because this uh, design goes like cross vertically okay across uh, the, 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 the composition of the page and um, we have two parallels here we have the branch which is parallel and we have the tail that goes okay to the corner eh? and that is a very powerful composition yeah. So we have to, you have to be very careful also with that. Yeah. Uh, have enough tail uh, because if we have uh, not enough tail, the composition is going to probably look a little weird. Uh, take my dark color of uh, um, watercolor pencil and start working on some the on the wing of the of the bird. Yeah. Uh, don't be too ambitious on on uh, replicating exactly all the feathers. Yeah. You have to think that. Uh, mostly you have to just to insinuate uh, more than than uh, drawing okay uh, hair by hair of each feather feather so be careful with that don't don't, don't get obsessed on on, on, on that uh, so we keep doing this Same thing with the with a with a body. Most of these lines are going to even disappear once we put the colors. Huh? Why we uh, do that? Because uh, it is going to give me uh, some of this body of undefined lines and enriching the color that I want to I want to do. And that's also going to depend on you. If you put more of these lines with uh, the pencil, some, most of them are going to stay. Uh, you, 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 you have to try. You have to try and you have to see what, uh, how do you feel comfortable using more or less lines on, on this. Yeah. First, uh, oh, mostly second layer of uh, lines, dark lines for the wing of this uh, cardinal. And we will be doing the same for other parts of the bird. And a mix of red and black in this case. Remember that the red that we are using today uh, is the alserine, uh, but you can use any other. This is our third kind of uh, red that we have. Uh, so we already have two different two different reds, uh, and we will go probably for another another one. Uh, and one is not uh, covering the other. Uh, all the different reds that we are using uh, are there, and you can see them all the all the all the time. Uh, even some lines that uh, we have done with our pencil. Uh, 
are still are still there. It has a, doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be very 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 precise. Okay, it is a it's a very complicated. It's a very uh, um, how can I say this is a a, 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 a very easy structure huh? when you have uh, these um, uh, surfaces full of full of feathers. Huh? Um, same kind of uh, color, a little more intense, a little more intense, uh, working on the feathers of the head of the bird. Uh, uh, he is, uh, to be very loose, working on, on those. Uh, the color that you see now, a very intense, is going to be a little more pale. Uh, once the water color dry, uh, you can see on the crown of the bird. Okay, those colors were very intense. Once the well, paper dry, uh, and colors uh, became a little more paler. And you also um, that uh, color is going to ask you, okay, for some reinforcement uh, of the colors. Okay, I uh, thought that some of these can be dry out, giving some um, differences of, little differences of color. Uh, so we have uh, more um, volume, insinuation of volume. Uh, so you see what I have done. I didn't erase the whole um, um, strong red that I put on uh, the feathers. I just erase, uh, not even erase, I uh, dry out some of these lines. And doing exactly the same thing, okay, with uh, the body of the bird, and you can see how our bird is is coming. Huh? I know it's a long process, huh? but it's fine. Huh? And, uh, and 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 really, you know, once some of the layers that we have done dry, as you see now. It, the, the 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 feathers uh, of the head uh, they doesn't look as intense not only because I, I took some with the paper as I am doing right now but also because it's the natural process of the watercolor that once the watercolor dry and we don't have water uh, so the colors uh, became a little more pale uh, we are going to be working now we are going to be doing basically what we have been repeating okay with the lower part of the body of the word uh, and we will do exactly exactly the same thing uh, once this uh, this right probably we are going to uh, go on another layer of even darker color okay on the lower part of the bird always always trying to create a, a volume so we have all these uh, um, left part of the bird that has to be more intense, okay? And that's what, that's what we are doing. Huh? We are creating this intense, okay, dark part. Uh, and here you can go even like two and three more colors than what I am doing in this exercise. Uh, to get to the color that is going to be even darker than the one that I am I am I am I am using in this exercise uh, right now. I think I'm gonna use another layer and that's it that you can go as I said two and three more layers just on this ending of the of the body. Huh? Mixing some more, more color, dark. As I, I told you, it's it's needing more, more uh, dark on this uh, lower part.
And the color that I am applying right now is, is, is really the more and the more intense, the darker color that we are going to be using. So again, red, basically at this point, what I'm using are just two colors. Okay, so I'm using the red, that can be alcerine or, or cadmium or whatever you have, and black. Yeah? And this is, this is, for me, this is going to be the, the last layer. Okay, the darker color that I am gonna uh, be using uh, for uh, today's uh, exercise. Again, you can you can go even two more tones, two more colors uh, here, and and now is the time we have to do the left of the bird. And you can draw that if you want. I am, I'm just uh, doing this with my brush. Huh? It can be, I mean, I'm using black. You can use something, of a combination of black plus um, ochre, and then go with some black on the top. Huh? So this is pretty simple what I am doing. You can do even better if you want. Hmm? You already know how to do that. And use some uh, pure black now to uh, work on the uh, eye of the bird. Uh, remember, we have this dot of uh, white, uh, which gives the bird this kind of mysterious look and also the character. Uh, again, taking advantage that I have some black and. Uh, emphasizing some of these uh, feathers of this uh, dark part of the bird. Mm. We are getting to the we are getting really to the to the end those uh, final touches. Mm. And uh, in this uh, kind of um, with a color, we can go for hours, really for hours on on, uh, on detail. Eh? But don't worry, the class is going to be over, and you don't have to you don't have to work for hours. Eh? But try to try to see, you know, um, always you have to you have to um, stop and see what you are doing, let it dry, eh? and uh, have to be like self-critical of, of 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 your work, eh? and see. Oh, okay, so. What I'm missing, uh, it is, is it too flat? Um, can I read what I am representing? Uh, if not, what is wrong and, and, and try to fix it, uh, how to fix it. So take a moment and analyze. Uh, is a, a problem of drawing, is a problem of uh, color, and if it is a problem of color, why? Because the color doesn't look uh, natural or because the color is too flat and I need to emphasize more um, the dark part, okay, to get the volume, or if the color is too intense, uh, probably I can put a little, of very, very uh, gentle, put a little of water on some parts, on surfaces, the color is too intense, and then dry out the part of the paper, dry the paper with, uh, with the, 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 the napkin or, or the, the kitchen uh, uh, paper that I'm using. Uh, so, uh, you already at this point you already have some technique you already have some tools uh, that you can you can use without my instructions and just be very 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 uh, critics of of your work uh, for now it's over and now I forgot to take the tape out so I am um, one more time I did that I'm gonna show you okay how to take the tape you know that you take the tape uh, in this in this way uh, uh, that in, in angle uh, creating an angle you have now uh, your bird thank you again